Arsenal and Manchester United matches in the late 1990s usually had a strong bearing on who would be picking up the Premiership title come the end of the season. This encounter in November 1997 was no different, with United in first place prior to the game and Arsenal third. United held a better record in the Premier League over their North London hosts. Arsenal had only won one of ten Premiership meetings between the two sides. The Gunners had lost 3-0 at Derby a few days earlier and Arsene Wenger made two changes from that side. In came Gilles Grimondi and Marc Overmars. A lack of goals had been the Gunners' problem. They failed to score in their previous three Premiership matches. United keeper Peter Schmeichel was a major obstacle as they looked to end that goal drought. In contrast, Alex Ferguson's team couldn't stop scoring. They'd netted 13 times in their last two Premier League games. There was one change from the side that had trounced Sheffield Wednesday 6-1. Ryan Giggs replaced Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Plenty of experience and tension on the Gunners bench. Your match commentator is John Champion. A Premier League summit meeting at Highbury. And given the recent history between these two sides, who on occasion have been more like warring factions, don't dare take your eyes off this one. Full house of just over 38,000. Every ticket sold a month ago. Martin Bodnam will need to be on alert for this game. No free kick this time. And here's Overmars. There's an attempt by Beckham to bring him down. Challenge is already flying in. Setting the probable tone for the next 90 minutes. Beckham's free kick to Philip Neville. Nicky Buck tangling with Platt and it comes to Scholes. Third playing first. Third of the way into the season. And at the moment a four-point gap between the sides in favour of Manchester United. His only Premier League defeat so far came last month at Elland Road. And in prime goal scoring form, having bagged 13 in the last two league games. Seven against Barnsley, six against Sheffield Wednesday. But Arsenal, a different proposition altogether, and here's Overmars. Comes to Anelka. And Anelka has a go! future is a matter for debate but that is Nicola Anelka's first goal for Arsenal the player spirited away from Paris Saint-Germain by the Gunners French manager Arsene Wenger scores a truly memorable goal vindication a hybrid choir in rare good voice The manner of Anelka's introduction. Philip Neville. Certainly a stunner for Manchester United. Winterburn's header. Now it's Beckham. Scholes. Pallister. Showed too much of it to Ian Wright. And off goes Anelka, who's got such pace, but not enough power to beat Schmeichel that time. Pushing that Anelka had been born in England. Beckham. Cole stepped over the ball. But it's with Arsenal. Not for long. Sharing it. Cole. Two of them combining, even though they don't speak. Alec Cooks content that his two strikers are not on the best of terms off the field because on it they know precisely what each other is going to do next Carla 
right inside him. Deflection on the shot, comes out to Platt. And Elka. Now not the net, but the clock end. Promises to be a busy day for Peter Schmeichel. Beaten once already. And constantly in employment. This time though. Having made the initial save, he wasn't called upon to make a second one. Lee Dixon. He's been through all the hullabaloo of games against Manchester United many times before. Bad. Winterburn. Neville's header. United's record this season, eight wins, four draws, just one defeat. 29 goals for and only seven against before today. But they're under the cosh here, all right. Parler to take. Adams near post. Comes out to Patrick Vieira. That's another really special goal. It's another Frenchman. And Arsenal lead 2-0. Pallister. It's not looked his normal self, Gary Pallister today. That's given it away. Here's Andy Cole. Plucked out of the air by Seaman. Not the only Arsenal man smiling right now. Anelka. Henningberg. Oh, the chest of Sheringham to Giggs. Cole to his right, Giggs goes alone. One by Sheringham, Giggs, one back by Parler. Philip Neville, Scholes. It's good work by Paul Scholes. Beckham, the Cole, Gary Neville. Sheringham pulls one back for Manchester United and having only recently departed Tottenham Hotspur it's a moment he will particularly savour his seventh goal in just 15 games since the transfer from White Hart Lane well found by Gary Neville has gone down and stayed down I have a horrible feeling it's that back complaint again it's got this ongoing sciatic problem that flares up from time to time slid in to try and collect the ball and you could already see the pain etched across his face so debilitating. He's not been moving freely. Patrick Vieira, the scorer of that stunning goal, being attended to by Gary Lewin, but his problems as nothing compared to those of Gary Pallister. And Alec Ferguson is saying, do we need to make a change? And the answer very evidently is yes. Unfortunately, they have a ready-made replacement in the Norwegian, Ronnie Jonsson.
but it's a club he's committed to and a cause he believes in. What a first half here. Two up to 2-2. Two, two. Arsenal packed back. Scholes goes down. Martin Bodman says no. Winterburn was the defender. And I think you can take it that Manchester United's manager is not in agreement with the referee. And that's why. There was no flag from the official on the far side. Which might have helped Martin Bodnam out. Arguably, he had a better view than the referee. Picked off by Dixon. If he got penalised. And Arsenal keen to get on with it. Parler. But look up. And the cross. Headed behind by Scholes. There's a terrific ebb and flow to this contest. Arsenal so dominant in the opening half hour. Manchester United have scored twice in eight minutes. And now with half-time approaching, Arsenal sends an opportunity to regain the lead. Winterburn's got a problem. I'm feeling something may have been thrown was right in front of the Manchester United supporters and the referee Martin Bodnam is coming across Winterburn doesn't seem keen to make a fuss and it's a good delivery and Schmeichel missed it Referee has given a free kick in Manchester United's favour. But for a goalkeeper, 34 next week, who is used to dominating his penalty area, it was a very uncertain moment. The free kick was for Hamburg. By Ian Wright. The referee's been for words with the fourth official just to report the object that was thrown from the clock end. For Manchester United to smile about now. Certainly will change the mood in the dressing room at half time, which it now is. Classical first half, Arsenal two to the good through Anelka and Vieira. Manchester United hitting back strongly through the recently departed from Tottenham striker Teddy Sheringham. So he'll have enjoyed those two moments. It is 2 2. difficult to predict which way this game is going to swing next here's a Nelka for Arsenal ran into Henningberg and Nicky Buck completes the clearance Arsenal's defeat at Derby it was their first in the Premier League this season and it came in their 13th game Today they failed to score in three consecutive Premier League games, which is almost unheard of for them. Right. But there's a look of dismay from Teddy Sheringham that Nicky Buck decided to have a pot from there. Sheringham was available. But ignored. Dixon. Sent tumbling by Giggs. Ten year age gap between the two of them. And applause for Nigel Winterburn as the doughty fullback goes across to take this. Adams has gone, as is his habit, towards the near post. 
Schmeichel comes and misses, not for the first time. It's hardly his best afternoon. Alec Ferguson completed 11 years in charge of Manchester United this week. 11 trophy-laden years. Dixon's ball in. Overmars. Skull's got a toe to it, and this is Beckham. Platt. Overmars. Held up by Jonsson. Parler in support. And having a go himself. He's been short of goals, Ray Parler. fixture an edge whenever it's played is that each team likes nothing more than to beat the other these are games that are highlighted on the respective clubs fixture calendar as soon as the fixture lists are published each June it's partly to do with status partly to do with history and Sheringham hits one and partly to do with shared ambition and Bodnam has also a cricket umpire in his spare time. Arsen Wenger finished third in his first season. All that previous experience with Monaco and in the J-League brought to bear. But... Not a real concern for Seaman. Guilty of the foul. And Arsenal have a free kick. Been the same attacking force in this second half as they were for the opening half hour of the game. It's not to say they won't be again. Grimondi. Gold. Helped clear by Scholes. And here's Cole. Winterberg. Bold. Gary Neville. David Platt. Parler. seeing of Nicola and Elka helped that his first calling card was that goal in the first half but he looks to have a real future Berg's header ran away from Sheringham Platt Parler is up from the back it's turned away for a throw by Philip Neville Arsenal beginning to look the more likely Ian Wright Johnson got a foot to it good challenge by Adams Dixon here's Bold retain both possession and his balance Adams Manchester United not retaining the ball for any length of time and right so dangerous Schmeichel shaking his head at some of the defensive shenanigans in front of him but he has to look at himself today as well and He'll probably admit in one of his quieter moments that it's not been his finest hour.
Parler. And in a way. Winterburn. And Platz! What a story! A player largely ignored for much of the season by Arsene Wenger. Beckham. Good challenge by the captain Adams. A platform for Winterburn. And Arsenal know that in what little time remains, Manchester United will come at them strongly. There will be no better insurance policy than another goal. Here's Parler. Suck Gary Neville in. Still it's over, Mars. The deflection took it for a corner. Off Ronnie Johnson. Is he to be the match winner? Gary Neville for Nicky Butt comes for Solskjaer and another chance goes begging and there won't be many more here's right. to stop its time now and Ian Wright's done well to escape and there's Ray should have sealed it Christopher Ray yet to score in the Premier League should have broken his duck from a sumptuous pass by Ian Wright Arsenal almost there Whistle goes, there will be one enormous Highbury roar because that's what victory over Manchester United means. Season in, season out. Here's Overmars. Parler knows that the whistle will go any second. All Arsenal have to do is keep the ball. Dixon. Right. Victorious. It's hardly a title decider, but it's certainly an indicator that we have a fascinating race in our hands. Clap the match winner, Arsenal victorious. That victory would prove a crucial turning point in the title race as the Gunners went on to complete the League and Cup double in Arsene Wenger's first full season in charge of the North London side. Alex Ferguson's Manchester United, meanwhile, had to make do with the runners up spot. Despite impressive seasons from Cole and Sheringham up front, the Red Devils finished an agonising one point behind Arsenal in the final standings, thereby relinquishing their much-beloved Premiership crown. For the London side, it was the start of a trophy-laden period under the shrewd guidance of Arsene Wenger.